Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Patricia. So, I was getting ready to do this video on Sassy Girl Aroma Wax. It just came in this afternoon and started watching this video of my friend, Melissa Hate. I know I'm late, y'all. This video has been out for a week and I had to take some notes on it because I was just that moved by this video. So, I mean, this video, it made me sad. It made me... It hurt. It, it made me angry. I got a few points to share with y'all, so here we go. First of all, I just want to say, Melissa, I love you. There it is. So, number one, I am Melissa, okay? If you've seen the video, she talked about what she was going through professionally. I am in the exact same boat. I work in finance. I think I've told you guys about that. I am in the mortgage industry. I have been in the industry since... Whew. Um, 99, I think. So it is my life. Like at this age, what am I going to do and where else am I going to go? So I have gone through just at the job I'm on now Two, I have survived two layoffs and that is like immediate in office layoffs, not even talking about the layoffs going on, you know, in other places and stuff. So I say that to say times are hard, money is tight. You hear me saying that in a lot of videos, and this is why, because it is. And I'm just like, this girl is talking about, you know, layoffs going on and everything and not being able to, you know, still trying to buy and do things. And I have significant, significantly scaled back my club and what I can't buy with Scentsy, guess what? I'm buying vendor wax to fulfill that need. And a lot of times you your buck can be stretched further with vendor wax than it can with Scentsy. I said what I said. And then people are jumping down her throat because she said something negative about Scentsy. Guess what? Since he is not sitting in a corner flicking a light bulb, a light switch back and forth, rocking back and forth because she or anybody else says something negative about their wax bars. Number two, she or anybody else should not have to apologize, come back on this platform and apologize for being a real person and a human being. We cannot just come on here and just be like, yay, what are we going to talk about today? And yes, I do realize when you put yourself out there on a public platform, then you open yourself up to criticism. I get it. But at the same time, being mean for no reason is just uncalled for. It's like, instead of doing that, just click off the video. If you think she or anybody else on here is whining or just doing the most, just click off the video. Save your fingers the the effort of doing that additional type and just click off of it and go to the next video. You should be able to come on this platform as well as any other platform, be your real authentic self without the fear of retaliation. Y'all can bring me the smoke. Y'all know I don't care, but that's just me. Number three, um, social media is hard, y'all. And I keep saying that I need to do a whole separate video just on social media and the work that's involved that, and especially going across multiple platforms, it is hard. And it's hard to get on this platform and be upbeat and perky and, and just doing all this stuff all the time. And Life just happens every day. Every single day, there is something going on. And this is why you see me looking like this most of the time. I have on some lipstick, and that is it. A lot of times, I am doing after work video. So after I have been crunching numbers and looking at applications all day long, this is what you get. It's not perfect. It's not cute. It's not polished. But guess what? It is what it is. And lastly, number four, the most important thing, check on your friends. I know we say that a lot. We got bumper stickers and t-shirts and all this stuff now, but check on people. If you like somebody that you follow online, even if you don't think you're friends with them or whatever, and they seem a little off, 
check in with them. You know, send them a message. If you're following them on Instagram or somewhere where you can send them a DM, DM them. Just holler at them and be like, hey, I just wanted to check on you. You seemed a little off or, or not even saying that. Are things okay? Check on your friends because nine times out of ten, we are all going through one thing or another. So now let's get into this wax. I, I, in good conscience, I literally just stopped watching that video about five minutes ago. There was no way I was going to get back on YouTube and not bring it up. Melissa, once again, I love you and we need to, we need to chat it up. So, um, this haul is from Sassy Girl Aroma. So for any of you Scentsy people that don't want to see this video on Vendor Wax, this would be a good time to click and sign off. For those of you who are curious what I got, here we go. So, Sassy Girl Aroma does perfume. You guys know I am a perfumeaholic, and their perfumes are outstanding. I was waiting for this one to come in. I have three more over there, so I'm going to do a dedicated video to Sassy Girl Aroma perfumes, but the three that I have are outstanding. So this one is, I don't even remember what I ordered. I think it was a Baccarat 540 Extray, um, Baccarat Rouge. Yes, this is what it looks like. And th the bottles are just beautiful and elegant. You can just sit them, you know, on the vanity or whatever fancy fruit fruit thing you have for your perfumes. My scent of the day has worn off, so this is perfect timing. My cat is like laying over here, so I'm going to spray to over here. Let's see. Well, let me show you the spray. Did you see? There you go. It's good, y'all. It's good. I do plan on doing a side-by-side -side comparison because I think I do have still a little sample of the, mm, or decant of the extray. So you will be seeing this and I will make sure and do a side by side video as I oh I didn't even show you what the box looked like. Look at that. So your fragrance is sitting in this box all nice and bouncy like. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Mm. Okay. So we're going to let that marinate a little bit. Let me put some on the I might as well just spray it all over, right? Okay. Let's get it going. All righty. So now we're smelling good while we're talking about wax. Oh, forgot I got a couple of samples. She always throws some samples in. This one is called Rain and Eucalyptus. Um, Let's see what this smells like. I've become a fan now of mints. So let's see. Okay. This is pretty. Oh, that's what it looks like. So it's a very soft mint fragrance i like that looking forward to warming that so that is mint and eucalyptus and this one is tangerine and mangoes and i know somebody recently had this in their order too and said they loved it oh that's pretty okay it's a very kind of soft um very soft tropical What's the word I'm thinking of? What apples, not apples, what limes and orange, citrus, duh. It's a very soft citrus fragrance. Okay, I like it, I like it. So once again, that is tangerine and mangoes. Okay guys, so we have, it's not a huge haul. So this is what I have. Uh, I was still trying to be good y'all. Two, four, four six eight so i have ten looks like ten so angel's touch if you are a fan of killian's um angel share it's a very boozy um uh, fragrance i'll insert a picture so you guys can see it it's very boozy this is cognac cinnamon hazelnut vanilla and oak wood it is absolutely outstanding. The performance is amazing. It is loud as all outdoors. I think I got two of these, I believe. Grills broke, don't care, I'm gonna break it anyway. 
but um this smells so good it smells just like mm, just like the cologne if you've ever um smelled angel share this is it in wax form it is absolutely outstanding okay the next one i got is you guys know i love a perfumey scent so this is another perfumey one this is called coffee lounge i actually have this in their perfume now if you are familiar with um there's a scent called coffee break it is by maison margella the replica brand this is what it is supposed to smell like so i went ahead and i got the cologne first it does smell like it so after having the cologne i was like you know what let me just go and get the wax mm. oh and i didn't show you what angel's touch um looks like the whole brittle sorry about that this is what it looks like and i just love how beautiful these brittles are they're just little works of art so this is coffee lounge and look it's like the color of coffee and espresso beans and you've got your cream in there so beautiful this is gorgeous so in this you do get a little bit more coffee than you do because in that cologne it's lavender coffee and i think there's a cream note um in this it says creamy coffee warm pastries and a subtle hint of lavender it's very subtle because i'm getting more coffee than lavender it's pretty though it is pretty so once again that is coffee lounge y'all gonna see this was a whole perfume inspired haul so this is called number 540 once again this is for let me just go get the bottle okay this is baccarat rouge 540 by maison francis kirkjean it is a highly popular fragrance in the fragrance community it is a really expensive fragrance back when i was getting all kinds of bonuses and money was just flowing in mortgage a girl was able to cop a bottle so this is supposed to smell like this let's see how it smells i'm excited the notes are jasmine saffron fur resin cedar amber wood and ambergris those are the notes come on let's see i'm excited y'all i'm excited i want my house to smell expensive okay let's see this doesn't really smell like it to me hmm it smells good, but to me, it doesn't smell like it. Maybe it needs to cure a little bit. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't really get it. It's a nice smelling bar, but I don't get it smelling like uh, Baccarat 540. Okay. I mean, I'll take it because it smells nice, but yeah, for me, it's, it's a no dog. So this perfume is supposed to be the extract version. This is the regular version. There is an extract. It's in it like a darker red bottle. And it has kind of the same notes, but they're done in a different formulation, like top, mid, and bottom. So it smells similar, but different. So I'll be interested to see how this smells. So I just wanted to point that out. Next up, we have... Oath. I've had Oath before. It is absolutely amazing. I think it smell. It's like a masculine smelling bar, I believe. Mmm. It's just beautiful. And this is the brittle. Look at that. Look how pretty that is, right? Mmm. It's giving like a floral kind of masculine vibe. So the notes for this are. Toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, roasted pine cone, smoked vanilla, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. It is so good, y'all. Did I get two of those? I know I got two of something. Oh, I got two. This is the other coffee lounge, so I got two of those. 
Okay, now this one is funny because I was seeing people, I belong to the Facebook group of Sassy Girl Aroma, and I kept seeing people talking about, my dad is tougher than nails. And when I looked at the notes, I was like, what's not to like? The notes are aged, aged rum, plum, leather, and vanilla. What is not to like, right? I'm thinking it's going to be like boozy smoky, maybe. Let's see. Hopefully a little cologne. Okay. Um, it's definitely a masculine leaning bar. Hmm. I guess it's the leather that's throwing me off. Because it almost smells like a chair. Okay. Aged rum, plum, leather, and vanilla. This is interesting. Because right now I'm just getting like a whole lot of like lazy boy chair. I know that sounds ridiculous. So hopefully that um, plum and aged rum will come through a little bit more in this. So, okay. We'll see what happens. Next is... Okay, this is the next section. She kind of double wraps things, so now I'm on to the next section. We have Tiffany's Beach. Look how pretty this is. So this is toasted marshmallow, sea salt, oh, sea salt breeze and s'mores, butter, okay, sea salt breeze and s'mores, butter toffee, hint of chocolate, buttercream, and fluffy vanilla cake. I got this just for the whole mashup of Beach, beach Nights and Tiffany's, um, cupcakes at Tiffany's. So let's see. Oh, wow. That's a lot of cupcakes at Tiffany's. For me, that's pretty much all I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I know that's a very strong scent to compete with. Look at this beautiful brittle. How gorgeous is that? Now, I was saying how, for me, this is a lot more cost effective. I will put two brittles in each warmer. So in um, two rooms in my house, I have eight warmers. Well, I have four warmers in the family room, four warmers in the living room. So this would take care of the family room this would take care of the living room. And I still have all this wax left. That's what I'm saying. I'm excited to see if... Um, and I know this isn't a beach night. Well, I guess it kind of is what I was saying. It's beach night. I'll be interested to see if uh, the beachiness comes out on warm. Because right now it's pretty much 90% um, Tiffany's and 10% everything else. Next one is, oh, it's so pretty. Dancing Under the Lemon Tree. Now, once again, another perfume reference. There is another Maison Margiela replica fragrance called, I think it's Lemon Tree. I'll put a picture up so you guys can see it. I'm hoping that's what this smells like. Now, even though I've never smelt that fragrance before, I've heard great things, so I was like, why not? So, it's the notes are calamansi, calamansi lime, green tea, citrus, and soft musk. So, when I saw those notes and knew there was a musk note in here, I knew there was probably a perfume reference going with this. It's so, so stinking pretty. I love it. Look at, look at that. Come on, y'all. How beautiful is this? Oh, it's good. You get the lemon straight off. You get that lime mixed in with it. But it's very soft. It's a very soft, pretty uh, lemon-lime fragrance. I like it. Okay, not disappointed at all. So once again, that is dancing under a lemon tree. Okay, 
I love blueberry. I had to give it a shot. Once again, this is Tiffany's Blueberry Cupcake. You really can't go wrong with uh, Tiffany's uh, fragrance and with blueberry. I expected this to be more blue now, but that's neither here nor there. Let's see. I'm hoping we're going to get a lot of blueberry. Once again, I'm getting a lot of cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I realize Cupcakes at Tiffany's is a very strong scent. I get like a hint of the blueberry. It's pretty. Okay. If you're a uh, cup Cupcake at Tiffany's fan, then you should like this one. And got a little color on the back. Okay. You guys know I'm not really heavily into bakery like that, but Cupcakes at Tiffany's just kind of took me by surprise. So if I can find a good blend of it, I am here for it. And my last one is oh, another um, number 540. Let's see if this one smells the same. Just for S and giggles. Yeah, smells about the same. I get the hint, like the whisper of this fragrance. But to me, it just kind of smells like a mix of wax in this. So I'm hoping once this is warmed, it will really give off this fragrance. So that's it, guys. That is my haul. That is mine. I'm off the soapbox now. I will just end this video in saying thank you for watching. Love each other. Care on each other. Love up on each other because this life is real short and we only got one to live. See you in the next video. Bye.